I am playing Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, like I, it says in the description, this is not a permanent restart. This is just a tip and tricks video to um help you guys get to um know how to start off on a new map. Last time I played, I was on um I think I was on Hirschfelden. Um, and that was like the basics of how to start if you want to start in Hirschfeld. Um, it will put you at the start with your own animal, like it's about to do here, I think. Oh wait, no, I already did an episode on this, um, one. For this, so technically, I forgot, this isn't technically episode two. But it is for me and you guys, um... This is just a series to help you guys um, learn how to start a new um, account, how to start off, what all to get, and everything. Um, if you got, if you purchase the DLCs, first, what you want to do is if you look, purchase them before starting the game, you'll start like far down about here. You want to come up here to this outpost. Um, then it'll probably have you go to here. <coughs> um, to this outpost. What you want to do is, whenever you get there, I know this is a different outpost, but their layouts are mostly the same. Empty, partially fenced in area. There will be this spot here where it's decorations, where it's like maps, all that. This doesn't really matter. But what you first want to do is, if you start in at night, you want to come over here, if rest until it's day. There's a cabin in each outpost. I prefer early 650. Um, then you want to come over here if you purchase any DLCs. Your starting um, inventory won't look like this. It'll more or less be the 243 only. What you want to do is you want to come to store You'll already be in raffles. Do you want to come down? And you want to take by this. They're free, but you want to get these three guns. These will help you out the most. Then you want to get the um, the assembly lines. Those are a really good one. The 45, if you purchase this one, this is what um, you would get rather than using the 243. Even though this is for way closer range. Um, You want to get the... But my, if you start out, don't have a 7mm, what I um, advise you to get is 30 odd 6 the assembly line, um, defense line, or front line, either one of these three. Then you want to get a 22. Either one of these work. Um, if you want to start off with handguns, you want to get these free 22s. Either that or the Focoso or the um, Menkefe Show or however you say that name. If you want to do um, long range hunting, you want to get these shotguns. I didn't just get, I didn't get them because I didn't want to get them. Golly, I couldn't get that. The bows, crossbows help most. Um, with the recurve bow, what you want to do is get a rifle, scope down, put a piece of tape or something um, um, on your TV screen or computer screen so you know exactly where to aim because it goes off of the direct center of your screen. These recurves are some of the ones that are good. The recurves act the same as the non-DLCs but just have a different, um, but, um, they don't have much difference as you see. 24, 19, 112, 24, 19, 112, 24, 19, 112. See, it's slightly better, slightly worse than this in some parts. Um, but what you want to do when you start in, you'll have the 243. You want to get as many of these soft point bullets as you can. Just spam it for a while until you get as much as you can, because this will save you a bunch of money. I think about 600 will be fine for your starting. Um, if you do get um, the 30-06 bullets, um, I'd go with anything soft point. 
Um, with these, I'd go with the um, hollow point and toe. You can afford to buy a lot of those. Um, same with the uh, um, assembly lines bullets, seven millimeters bullets, the um, thirty out sixes bullets, and stuff like that. With handgun ammo, nothing will be free, so I'd stick with rifles, same with shotgun ammo. Um, but there are some 16 uh, gauge bird shots for a small game that you could use. Bug shots, I wouldn't really use. Um, 16 gauge slugs, wouldn't really use. Um, arrows, nothing's free as well. But some of them do get heck expensive, like these tracer bolts for massive game like um, the buffalo and there's the 700 things mainly used for buffalo and bison and stuff like that sights um, night vision don't buy you'll have this when you first start but I'd save up for the Hyperion it's one of the cheaper scopes and it helps out a lot since it is only um, 12,000, um, which seems like a lot in this game, but if you can hit hard shot on, on every deer, it is not. Um, handgun sets, don't worry about these when you um, start. You'll get your all your DLC um, lures in, at the start, and all the free lures from the start. Since, you'll start off with these unlocked, um, and you don't really need these, because these are not really um, important if you don't buy the maps then with decoys don't really need these these aren't for this map or anything um hey dead eye um thanks for making this stream i forgot i need to turn on this since i don't have text to speech on then for um but hello dead eye um for cynthia elim you'll start out with a free 50 i think if you want, you can buy more, but I don't recommend it. Um, you don't roll the clothing; don't really bother anything. It doesn't detect, um, change how much your animals detect you. Just something you can use. That pack I wouldn't really buy off the start, but later on in the game, after there's not much you can buy, I'd get one because they'll help you carry more. You'll start out with these and these. If you buy the um, DLC, you'll get these um, night visions. I wouldn't really use them. I'd save up for this one once you get level 11. Um, tents, you start out with a few, you don't need them. Don't need to purchase any of these, any of these, or any of these. These are all DLC. Most of these, except tents and ground bonds, are DLC. They're not really usable if you know how to uh, crouch um, and stay still. But after you get the 30-06, um, you want 30-06, 243. Ignore these because their ammo costs money, um, and you only want the 30 out 6 if you can um, afford the a good bit of ammo, um, which I already have some because I purchased some. But 243, like I said, just spam the heck out of the free soft um, tip, not soft tip, golly, um, soft point um, bullets. You just want to spam them until you get 600. The 22. That ammo is like 200, it's not going to cost much. You want to then come down here um, to your ammo. As you see, I grabbed all the DLC weapons. You want to put all the ammo for them in your inventory. 22 for um, small game, as you see, like grab it down in the bottom um, left corner of the image of the bullets. It's for um, small game like rabbit, squirrel, and ducks. Uh, for, um, yeah, if you have the money to buy it, it's personal preference, which I normally use the, um, assembly line, or the 30-06, um, for hunting, but on my main account, I use a 7mm, but on this, because I don't have the 7mm, because the 30-06 bullets, um, they can go slightly higher than the, um, 243 bullets um, as you see here these go up to um, moose while these go up to elk so you get this you can get bear and elk 
which if you get the money um you want to buy the um hard point bullets or whatever you call them um let me find them if i have purchased any uh i have not so i'll have to go to the store and show it um but to find out what ammo something takes you just want to find it in your menu and then hit square on it the 30 odd six um polymer tip is what it's called the polymer tip um <laughs> let, gives you more penetration so if you hit it in like the shoulder or something it'll go straight through the bone and you won't get only flesh you'll get lung which they're 850 as you see i got 4000 in the top right so i can't get a bunch of these so i'm sticking with the soft tips which i'll buy more of because i need um then after you get your guns and your ammo what you then want to do is come down here you probably don't already you probably already have the scope attached to your 243 once you spawn in um, if you're wondering if you have to purchase a scope for each weapon you do not you just and if you unequipped it by accident you just come in here click on it and then move everything into where you want it as you see which I normally keep the highest power at, at first, medium at second, um, lowest at third. Then you want to come to your ammo, put in your ammo with your matching gun. And on this game, one scope fits all. You just hit circle and then click on the weapon again. And for lures, just um, only keep what you want or need um, in this. Um, like buck snort wheeze that'll be good for whitetail as you see where it says affected species near the um, bottom right um, the range is 200 meters duration 90 seconds attraction strength 40 that doesn't really matter unless you're calling from a long time um, a long distance away the deer bleat um, has less um, affected range um, same duration but more strength the jackrabbit collar, um, that's not really needed on this map. Neither is roe deer, um, scenty limb, that is needed. And the binoculars are needed. For, um, Hirschfeld. Not Hirschfeld, but, um, Leighton Lake. As you see something called up there, I did not pay attention. But now, if you start out with this small area, what you want to do is you want to hang out around these two lakes unless you know exactly where to go. But I'm going to head up to find Lake Chila um, if I want, but I know the small areas of where animals are, um, but normally you'll want to follow this path um, running or walking. At this point you're going to see animals no matter what. Um, until you get your first like 10 animals but you want to run down this path and listen for a um, <coughs> animal um, do their warning call and once you hear it you want to immediately stop running and crouch and head to the direction you hear it um, but what I'm gonna do is head down here um, I know the wind is bad for me and cuz it's raining which will mean the wind is high, which means they'll be able to smell me worse. But if it is um, raining, what you want to do is come up here, fast travel um, to your nearest point like so. Either it will start stop instantly, which it doesn't seem like it's going to do. What you want to do is come in here, rest, maybe three or so hours, and it'll be done it'll be a lot brighter now on my main account um, I actually have this whole lake um, viewed or spotted out but what you want to do as you get higher level you want to run up through here looking for deer on the complete other side like you say you're here you want to be looking at where my waypoint is That'll be um, about what you want to do the whole route up and just kill level two or three white tail. Because that would mean they're diamond and or um, and or gold. But at the start you want to shoot everything you see. Because 
if you don't then you won't get enough money to get the seven millimeter which is basically a bear stopper and deer stopper you get that and can afford the ammo you're you're good all you really need is that and a 22 and then a 243 for coyotes because the seven millimeter works on deer um, elk bear moose um, and then you want the uh, 243 for coyotes um, and then smaller deer then you want the 22 for rabbit and duck and you have a full um, loaded out inventory um, I'm not seeing anything on the other side which um, if you start and you go to scoping, um, I not have iron sight rifle uh, you can what you do is you go here and you double tap up um, what you do is you click up to bring up your weapon menu you hit up again for manage um, sights and then detach sight and then iron sight that's mostly for close range if a bear is charging you though um, or an um, animal that actually runs at you to kill you like buffalo, bison, bear, wolf that's when you want to use iron sights because you get a good rifle um, Iron sights will help whenever they're charging at you. You can't really zero in for range at the start. So the, um, until you get this um, perk and rifles, um, it is the middle one. As you see, zeroing, you want to get to level two. Which right now I have no skill points, so I can't get to yet. You get skill points and perk points by leveling up. Once you level up and get a perk point, um, skill point though, you want to go to um, ambusher and you want to level up. Um, uh, no, my grandpa, he has um, his lungs are messed up. Um, but up here in spotting knowledge, um, you want to level this up to um, level three. Then, um, you want to get um you basically want to level up this whole first row which you can't get until you put like two points into this but you want to um try and get to this here tag um which will let you spot up to three animals simu simultaneously um and you want to level up these these and these and this until you get to this which um lets you get all the um which lets you see all of the um, need zones like eating zones, resting zones, and um, drink zones of all animals nearby. Um, so then all you gotta do is um, pull up one of those and then you know exactly where um, every animal in the area eats, rests, and drinks. And then um, um, if you level it up twice, um, it'll mark every animal in the area on the map, um, in, um, so that you know exactly what is where. Um, and then hill color, um, will, um, if you're near a lookout point, um, it increases the range of the people, not people, of the, um, colors by 10 meters only if you are by a um one of the lookout points which are what in that are in the image of the keen eye the haggle um decreases everything's price by 10 pack meal 50 percent extra for backpacks um um just by normal and it does not affect backpacks on um, the who's deer um as a random chance of including a vocalization response from a species that is not affected by a particular collar. So you use something like a um, jackrabbit collar that works on wolves and coyotes, you'll probably get a response from a bear. Or you use a um, <coughs> the snor um, buck snortweeds collar, um, you'll get a response from a black tail instead of a white tail sometimes. Then I said what tag does, sight spotting lets you um, um, let's you use um, your scope 
to spot animals instead of um, having to stick with binoculars. This um, lets the animals walk to you. Um, level 1 attracts animals. Um, level 2 um, makes them respawn. Impact resistance lets you take less fall damage. Um, this gives you 5% extra money from missions. Um, this um, makes random animals that are not affected by scents um, to come to you. And then I said that this just lets you um, see all the info about the animal, like their blood um, drop rate um, when spotting them. Um, how aware of you, th um, how aware you're there, like calm, nervous, attentive, alert, fling. Um, then this just um, increases number of uses of um, scents, um, the duration, range, and the attraction of them, but um, depending on what level they are. Um, in Stalker, this lets you see um, the direction cone more narrower, which means it'll show you clo um, level one would show you the clo um, closer to the um, direction it actually once went. Level two increases the depth um, distance the tracks are viewed, and level three um, the d um, the detection um, the directional tracking cone that shows you which way it is um, goes is. Um, more narrower and can be seen further away. This reveals um, the animal's gender um, when invest when you um, hit square on their f um, footprints and their vocalizations. Level two. Um, whenever you find a need zone, it'll tell you about how many um, animals are there. Whenever um, you look at um, something that would be created by need zone. Level two, um, it also um, will tell you how much health it is when you're looking at their blood. Um, so it'll be like 50 per, um, 75 to 100, 50 to 75, 25 to 50, 0 to 25, which me 0 to 25 means it's dead near. This um, decreases your visibility in foggy and um, rainy weather, depending on which one you upgrade and how many times you upgrade. 15% more health. Okay. Um. Oh, as soon as I got off, there's something over there. I'm gonna go check that out. Hmm. Perfect timing. Probably smelt me, and that was probably a warning call. You know, I spotted some tracks <laughs> close to where you're at right now. Probably I'll this one's pack. Oh, yep, yeah, probably is. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go after those tracks or this vocalization. That vocalization could actually be 200 meters away. So, I'd probably be better off just coming over <coughs> here to these tracks and following them. Because this shows me exactly where the animal went, which is a moose. And it ran. Okay. Walk. Well, how recent is it here? Old. Okay. So that'll probably be gone for a while. Get my binoculars out. Okay, there's that deer there. I don't know how far it is, so... There's a three black tail. I'll probably go for that unless there's something bigger. Um, that's a two. Uh, that's a three. Um, so what's the rack on this three? Uh, looks like one of the smaller ones. That's a smaller one. Um, this one. That's one of the bigger ones. Any other new ones? I uh, know, so I'm probably gonna take point this location out here. Um, that is 270 meters away. So 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run all the way over there because they won't be able to hear me unless I'm like 200 meters away. So I'm gonna just run closer to them and then get back to the part six and then back one of them. Uh, there is bullet drop, um, but until you get zeroing, it will be um, it will be hard to calculate for. But um, right now, what you want to do is, if it's this far out, if you want to take a risky shot, I'd place it halfway between. But I'd wait until you're, c I'd try and make get closer to them before you try and shoot them. Oh, 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 oh. There's a bear there. Okay. Get this gun. <laughs> okay, I got my scope all the way up. I'm gonna crouch walk over to him. They sh they're about 292 meters away, so firing at that bear will not spook them. But um, if they're over 150 meters away from you, preferably over 200, then it'll be safe to take a shot. Um, starting out in this game, because um, the 30-06 is um, accuracy isn't that high, um, and it's hard to know exactly where to aim. I'd wait till they stand up like that and blast it, them in their chest. That was a good place to shot. You want to aim in the direct center of their chest. And as you see, he ran off, but there should be a pretty big size blood splatter here. Which vital organ was hit, so I should just be able to follow these large puddles of blood. His blood rate is high, so he should be down somewhere around here. Oh, right here. Now, to get the camera out, all you do is hold square and then get a good angle. You can pad down the grass to get a better one and then click. And, ta-da, um, I got the right lung, which is where I was aiming. I avoided, because he was standing up, as you see how much their shoulder blade um, and their arms, um, they hide the lungs. It'll be better to take a straightforward shot, because if you see the heart down there, it is uh, near his throat. It is not very big, so just aiming in the chest in general, you have a huge chance of hitting lung. And I actually aimed a little high there. Now, if we aim down here, as you'll see, they are still down there. If I can get my binoculars. They should still be down there. Which... I don't see them. But there is a moose mating call over there. I do not have a call to lure it in. So my best bet will be to come over here and get these deer. Now, if you find a zone, do not kill more than two or three animals there, because if you kill three or four, um, the, I think it's four or five, but the zone will completely remove itself, and you've got to wait till the um, hunting pressure completely um, runs out, and anim common animals like whitetail and blacktail, their zone does not come back, so you've got to actually wait um, if it's them. Elk and black bear, their zone has a small chance of coming back, and coyotes have a small chance of coming back. That moose there sees me, so... And I need the money, so I'm going to take it. But it is facing away. Wait a little bit longer, and... Ah... And it ran, so I'm not going to worry about it. Because it's not going to head over there to those, so it will not spook it. We'll probably run up that way. And also, I'm within 250 meters, so it'll they will most likely start to flee if I do. I'm probably going to take this one here. Because it doesn't seem like it's nervous or it'll start standing up. We're about 200 out. I want to get to 150. if I can get to 150 then 
I can take it pretty confidently with the starting run and I don't have to wait for it to stand up because I'm pretty good at making that shot The wind is pretty good, so I'm probably going to be able to easily take this. Oh, there's a bear out there. i got to be careful. It could spook them. So I might crouch walk up to them. Oh, hopefully I'm running doesn't spook them. I'm about 150 out. I may take that shot. Um, but I want to wait until I'm maybe 75 if I can. Um, where are they at? Oh. Don't tell me they actually ran. They shouldn't have ran. There's, I'm far enough away that they shouldn't have. I want to, um, but is it a free world, um, a free roam game or is it one with limited, um, area? Okay, they are nervous, so I'm going to start crouching. If I can't see the... Yeah, they see me, so... What I'm going to do is... Take the mail now, if I can find them. Um, if not, I'll take her down. Blacktail are more skittish. So I'm pretty sure the bigger male is already left. So I think she's the only one still there. So I'm going to get my 30-06 out, and then I'm going to take her. Ah. This game is harder to play whenever you can't, um, whenever you can't see them whenever you, you first start out. So, hopefully she hasn't ran. Um, but I'm not seeing her anywhere. But I did see a spotting thing, so I'm going to continue. Ha ah, ha ha. It's like a battle royale, but you're... Um, hearing is your greatest ally. So, it's a hunting battle royale. Seems interesting, but... Is it like free world where you can run anywhere? Or is it like, um... Or is it limited like the um, Cabela's Big Game Hunters? It's 100 out, so I'm going to try and... So right there's his chest. That should be a hit, so I'm going to go over there and see if I got one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be fine share, um, watching a share play of it later. Um, that should be a good shot though. Place it right on his shoulder, even though I don't have polymer tips, just the power of this should be good. Is this him? Most likely so. Which means I think I missed. Either that or I. He was covered behind the, um, a thicker tree. Because I'm not seeing any blood. So I think he was below the hill, and I shot the hill instead. Either that or I shot the tree bush thing. I'm not seeing, because this is about where he was, I'm not seeing any blood. So I probably missed him. So, that was uh, bad on my end. Um... Oh, they're returning already? That is not normal. Okay, so it is a Solo duo trio game. Okay. So how is like the score on it like classified? Is it like um where you have to um 
steal like so many animals in a certain amount of time or is it a um sc score based off of your animals or how is everything calculated? I spooked her. I'm not gonna worry about taking her because she'll be running for a while. Um, and it is hard to um, calculate a shot from that distance. Um, especially if you do not have the ranging abilities. What I'm gonna do is just walk around and hope I can't get a warning call of an animal I can take with this gun. Is that a coyote? No. How did I saw a cow out there? How's seeing anything farther out? Oh, you hunt for supernatural bosses. Oh. So it's kind of like um, a more hunting version of um, that game by Epic. Um, where you gotta hunt for the... Oh, so it's like who gets the most. Okay. I'm about to shoot me a rabbit or two. For rabbits, what you want to do is just run around and hope you spook one or two. Um, and you want to w get them as they're running away. Ooh, okay. There's that black tail up there. Um, I probably spooked it, so I'm going to continue walking. If I knew what the name of that um, one game by Epic is, I'd try and um, tell you what it reminds me of. But it's like the one where you like got a sword and stuff and you got to kill the beast. Um, and it's basically a bunch of boss fights. And different beasts have like different abilities except what you're talking about seems like just a multiplayer battle royale version of it. Yeah, Dauntless. It's like a multiplayer Battle Royale Dauntless. That's what I was thinking of. I keep forgetting the name of it, though. There are moose over there. I'm going to see if there isn't a male with them. Because if there's a male, then I'm going to go ahead and take it rather than this female. What is that one out there? Female... Female, female. It's just a herd of females. Oh, there's a two. Probably gonna take him. Also, Hunter's hardcore. So it's basically um, Hunter Call of the Wild, Dauntless, and um, Dark Souls, basically. It's 183 out. I should be able to take that and get him. need a better view on him. Uh, I almost accidentally fired. Oh my gosh. I've done that so many times. So I want to move. Okay. He is coming out. So I should be able to use my rifle now and not just go up on him. I'm gonna wait for his head to lift up and then and that it and he is down the thing about this is um, if you do not get a good shot the moose will not go down at all well dear if you hit flash it'll go down but take a really long time moose are not like this in this game you get a moose it's not gonna let you kill it or just run unless you get heart or double long or even single long if you get bone, flesh, or anything, it will not go down. That is the nasty part about this game. But I think I got a good, really good shot on it. Oh, yeah. Funny number. At 
That does look like a good shot. Oh no, no organs hit. It's not going down, so I'm not gonna try it. Sounded like a female, so I'm not gonna go after it. Probably isn't going down, so I'm not going after him because I got flash. <coughs> but if you hit um something a moose or something with a um with flash, don't even bother going after it. He won't go down. If you want, you can sit there and wait for him to come back. Okay, looks like I don't need to use Iron Slide. And I can claim this. Um, every time you, you want to get all of these um, and then read them in order. Um, and try and find out which way they go. They tell you a lot about the map and like who funded it and like the backstory of it. Um, I think I have all of this map's um, lore unlocked on this account. But it's fun to read that stuff. After this um, isn't live anymore and you want to look at that and read it, you can. Or if you want to check it out now and then skip back to where it is live, you can. But I'm not going to purposely try and grab those. Because it isn't really worth your time on this game. Unless you really... Uh, unless you're on your main account. Which on my main account I think I was level 30. So. I was pretty far into it. Uh, my brother took my PlayStation. So this is why I decided to make a second episode of this series. Cause it's a good time to do it. See, they're walking back. It doesn't take long for them to come back to their zone. Yeah. But if you have the zeroing perk, you could hit your R1, and um, it'll um give you your the exact top uh, range you want to aim for. Um, and it'll let you go between, um, 50, 100, um, it'll let you go between 100, 150, um, and 300. No, wait, 75, 150, 300 meters. Which does help a lot, and then with range finding scope, you can get an exact, um, distance. <laughs> Which, if you want a lot of money at the start, what you want to do is go for bear, um, moose and deer. They help a lot. Saw that moose move. And I want to take him. Or her. I don't see where they went. Not gonna worry about them. They don't really charge that often. Deer and stuff do charge. But they're not like, um other animals where all they do is charge. Wolves, they hear you walking, they'll charge you. Bear, if you get close enough to them um, and spook them, they'll charge. They do not one-shot though like lions do. Um, but deer and stuff, um, I think if you don't have health kits and stuff, they will. Or if you're, you've taken damage before, they'll one-shot you. But I know they put you out of their half or low health.
it's okay. Seems about right. But, um, a good thing with this map is, um, finding the zones and then putting, um, a tripod and tent next to it. Tent has to be, like, 250 meters away from the zone. And then the tree stand can be as close to it as you want. Keep for... Okay, I'm gonna crouch. Well, I can hope I see it. Because if I can see it, that'll give me a lot more money. Because I'm at a thousand right now. I think he fled. Okay, so he didn't play. He did change a good bit of the game. He's probably in the attentive or alert phase. I'm gonna be careful. Not seeing them, which isn't a good thing. Huh. Bear, if you get in with a certain distance of them, their eyesight and hearing is really good. So they'll just flee. Yeah, there's bear pins down here. He fled. That's the moose. There's the bears. Bear did flee, though. Right here. That's very old, but one of these tracks are his. Yeah, this one. This one's his current one. So he's just been running around in circles up here. Which means this is the um, pattern that they go. What was that? Aw. Oh. I probably missed that. That one there isn't alert though. So I could go for a long shot or I could creep up on him. Which I will do. Oh, he's alert. Yeah, if an animal is running near it, um, near another animal, they'll suspect somebody is nearby, um, and they'll just run with them because they know, oh, hey, if I don't run, I'm probably dead. Probably going to go for this long shot. Ah. Calm down, me. Calm down. Whenever you're, um, if you... In the bottom right corner, you see that little heart? You want to wait for it to fully slow down before you steady again. Or whenever you go to shoot, um, it won't work how you want it to. And that is down. That looked like a good shot. Let me go see if I did get a good shot though. Because that shot is difficult to pull off. If so, that'll be my longest shot. If I did hit that, that'll be my longest shot on this account.
Because this scope doesn't have the um, little dots to um, distance with and to uh, work with. So hitting that shot is a pretty difficult one. And al also with how this game's um, distancing works and the bullet drop works, makes it doesn't make it easier. They load my weapon. <coughs> Where is this blood pedal at? Okay, it doesn't look like a big, um, big amount of damage. But, this looks says he went this way. We say he went this way. And this says he went this way. Oh, or maybe he didn't? Should've. Oh well. Said he went that way. So, very fresh, no organs hit. Unlike, um, bear, or unlike, um, or unlike moose, they actually go down if you hit um, the flash. So it will be a while before I find him, but he will be down. But Moose, um, they get to the point where they're like, oh hey, I'm gonna be that doctor dude who just absolutely just does the smartest things with what he has around him. And I'm gonna catch a leaf and then use it to stop my blood flow. They just run through a tree and tell there's no blood. Or at least that's what it seems like. Which way is he going? This way still. The tracking on this game, um, with how footprints and stuff register, um, if there's an animal that walked there previously, it'll skip his footprints and won't let you see them. So that's the only thing that makes, um, it hard to track. And then if you're tracking a large animal, the, um, a large scoring animal like a diamond, a deer, or a diamond bear or something, the tracks will spread further out. This, I don't think, was big enough to be diamond, even if I did get a good shot on him. Should be down pretty soon though. Very low, no organs hit, so. Oh hey, this game made the blood healing system for every animal. Fudge. That's coyote, I'm not a I'm not good at coyote. And where did I trace him off to? All the way up here? Golly. Now do you see why I don't hunt larger animals if they if I miss? I went from here all the way up to here. That's like what? A kilometer. I just ran a marathon. <sighs> um, I'm gonna fast travel here. Um, bring the time back. Okay. Um, hmm. Notifications. So I'm gonna set the time back. Why do I have this here? Oh well. Actually, um, I'm gonna go to another map. 
Um, and this will be a map that I haven't been on on this account yet, because on this account I haven't had DLC on it other than the guns. Um, so there's a bunch of maps I haven't tried out, and I'm gonna get my first quote unquote animal on after even the, the diamond once on all of these maps. Um, I'm gonna go with. I want Silver Ridge. Once I get a $10 gift card, I'm gonna get that. But I think I'm gonna do the Savannah, because there's a bunch of unique animals on there that are fun to hunt. Um, easy to track, hard to track, challenges um, to face, like lions charging, buffalo charging. This I game all around is a really good gu um, Welcome, world. Home. I know it looks different than you remember. We've, I, we've had some problems here at Boronga Savannah. <sighs> I've watched the sun rise and set over this park for 45 years. I've seen miracles of life, wonders of nature you would not believe. Our family's roots here run deeper than the oldest baobab tree in the park. <coughs> but after 45 years, I'm humble enough to admit I can't be senior warden forever. Droughts, disease, and poachers are a constant threat. My team and I have protected and saved countless species over the years. But after a streak of bad luck, our elephants and all but one rhino are gone. If we lose more animals, the state could shut us down. See? I'm not about to hand the keys to my office to just anyone. I want to keep the role of senior warden mm. in my tribe. Preferably my family. So, grandchild, here you are, standing in the bush. You can protect Furonga, save the animals who call this park home, mend what has been broken. This will make our ancestors proud. Spiritually, physically, you're going to face the most difficult challenges of your life, but you can overcome them. I believe in your talent. Ha, I always have. I'm crossing. Now, ready to prove Grandfather and Jabulo, right? Um, some of the, hey, you must have the had DLC maps, plan, um, you? most of them well, do not put you in front pieces. of an animal at the you start, because they expect you, like. you to already, um, they expected you to, um, straight away, um, do the uh, other, um, map, so... We're hunger, Savannah, Mad Bed, Tiger, there and a no whole bunch of the others do not give you the, um, and an animal at the start to hunt. So what you gotta do is actually, um, Finally, learn how to hunt before you do the DLCs. Seasons. Track and harvest an animal of your choosing. I'll be judging the quality of your kill. Some of these maps, like the Savannah, um, with how, um, see the tint of it, it is really hard to hunt some animals because of the glare the off the land Africa, and off the water. The land where people began. I knew you couldn't leave Voronga forever, grandchild. The day our family adopted you, I saw the fire in your eyes and I said, that child is noi, mystical, magical. And now I know I'm right. The ancestors brought you back here on my behalf. Thank you for coming. This dude is just talks a bunch of nonsense to, right? at the start Don't than say. others. Um, so claim an outpost harvesting animals. So I claimed an. So I'm claiming an outpost now. I think this is what I'm going to do, right? Uh. I think so. 200 centimeters away. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. This one here. The, um, Angola Palace. So that's where I'm heading. 
So I'm heading to one of an African palace, question mark. Or in qu palace in quotation marks. You're not going to put an actual castle in the middle of a hunting field. But on Medved, there's a broken down one. That's like part of their history. That's a good one to learn the lore about. This map is just good in general for um, hunting animals getting high amounts of experience. I'm not going to be using the 22 a lot. It's mostly going to be using the 30-30. But, um, because the 30-30 gets most of the animals here. If you want to know why, um, rounds get what animals, I'd look it up on Google. Um, there's a bunch of tutorials for the new 2.0 scoring system and how the bullets now work. So I gotta level up because what you wanna do, now you just have to do one more thing. for then free I XP for you. is do the first two <laughs> missions which will be claimed either it's more work. um which uh, will have you claim a lookout life, eh? and an outpost. That outpost and you wanna go through all the maps doing that because that'll Thank help you, you um a lot. Um I think I'm going stalker in this one, um, but I also want, I'm gonna get this so that, um, I know what gender stuff is by their call, um, cause that is really helpful, um, but on this, um, for knowing what animals take what, um, what you want to do is um in your inventory you load out the ammo um has certain categorizations so anything classified as a low class animal everything considered as a um uh, um as a level two to a level six and this one is um anywhere from a level four i think to a level um eight and then there are bison which are nine and then the scoring systems always go 1 to 9, so for those who are beginning, you want to work with that. I'm putting it a little bit later into the evening so that kudu and stuff are out, or later into the morning. Because kudu, they run around normally, there's no just, oh hey, I'm going to give myself a kudu. Good three. Hmm. Well, if it's dark, you want to look around. If you see white way off in the distance, that's not an animal, that's another outpost. Um. Animals on this map, if they're in bushes, they're probably camouflaged it. There's a whole bunch of tall grass, taller than this stuff here that lines will hide in. And it's way thicker, so. Be careful when you're threading, um, treading through that. It'll look about that light there. You want to avoid those. Um, if you hear panting. <coughs> It'll sound like, um, an animal just like panting and lightly growling though. So if you hear that, that means there's a lion, a lion nearby. Um, I think, um, I'm gonna head in northeast because that's the opposite of where the wind is blowing. So animals down there won't be able to smell me unless the wind starts to shift. Um, which is why that compass down there is, um, tells you. Um, hmm. I keep wanting to check that out because I'm used to dying so much by lions. Which won't happen a lot on this account. Because on this account, I'm actually going to listen for the panting. There's a warthog down there. So I'm going to crouch walk so that I don't scare him. And I'm going to see if I can't get him. Because that blue indicator by his um, image means he's male. 
Um, there's red and pink indicators by their image if you do get the spotting perk or whatever where you can see their gender by call or footprint. Um, next, um, I'm gonna try and get the spotting perk to where I can spot with scope. Cause that's gonna help a lot. Well, not spot, but to where I can zero with my scope if this thing gives me enough XP to level up. And you can reduce this way by leveling up perks and stuff. There is a glitch at the moment where um you'll if you go to hold your breath you'll start moving as you saw there by scope suede. That will alert animals so whenever you go to um release off of hold your breath you want to make sure you're pressing straight down because if you don't then you'll most likely um um so it's in that group over there that's where it is Either that or it's going to be heading over there. So I'm going to slowly make my way towards her. And hope that I can see him um, on the other side of a couple of these small trees. But on this, um, Kudu, Springbok, and... Um, Warthogs and lions can hit diamond. Um, cause I don't know why, but that's how, um, cause some African animals can actually, um, get the, um, horns as a female, or they do. That is a big Gimsbok. Okay. My first Gimsbok gonna be a four. I am gonna. It's being spooked by something. Don't know why, but I'm gonna wait until it comes into the open, and I'm gonna take my time on this. But golly, that is massive. That is about close enough. I don't want her to spook or him to spook. And that is a good shot. I hope. Nope. Come on. This Gonna try and get. You call it the Gemsbok or South African Oryx, is a major target for hunters and poachers. Their horns fetch a deluxe price. That's Despite that threat, they've lost so many natural predators. Their population is booming at an unsustainable rate. Oh <sighs> well, I messed that one up. And I can't just undo it. Well, that I don't think is going down. Map, yeah. Not seeing any purple pull up. So it was a bad, bad shot too. But just one of those, yeah, you kinda screwed up. It's one of those bad screw ups. Oh, it took off right before I cut. I need to decrease the weapons way um perk by a lot. 
Just so that, I mean, increase the decrease weapon sway perk. Just so that I can, um, pull off those dumb shot, moving shots better. That is another Gimspock. Oh, Kudu. I don't think that's a herd. I think that's one that got separated. So I'm not gonna go over there because that was a female's call, I think. I didn't really check it out or look. But I'm pretty sure it was a female's. I'm just gonna come down here, get the zone, because I know they were coming from this pond. Because they drink here around 7.30. Uh, um, eight, I think. Seven thirty to eight. Yeah, it was a female. Males would already be calling. They're coming down here to drink. I'm not gonna worry about it because it's a female. Um, and most lesser kudu females do not make diamond. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Instead, I'm gonna come back up here. Um, I'm gonna snatch that um, <coughs> bring it back to 7:30, seven ish. And, um, oh, I don't get enough money. Well, then, um, I'm gonna head here to Garage, grab one and ATV, which are not DLCs, I don't think. But I'm going to pin somewhere in there, and I'm gonna go look for that, because I know it's gonna be closer to this direction. It should not be an easy thing to miss. Because it's pure white. Something pure white laying down isn't hard to miss. Now I'm gonna walk around in this area. See if I can't find any footprints or anything of a Gims buck. See what it was going to rank and see what it will um, rank if I did get a good shot. Um, I was up here on this hill. I shot it. Um, I ran down. So it's going to be over here on this part of it. So it run up there though. So unless this game's um, thing is messed up, then I don't know where it is. Yeah, because this is already out of it. Hmm. 
Yeah, it should be down here, yeah. Even though I didn't get a good shot, it is still a big kudu. Not kudu Gimsbach. I want a good picture for it. And there we go, one over here like this, and... That is 294, I that is high that gold. That was perfectly executed. That is I aimed a little high though. Oh, eh, grandchild. They must have changed the um to where the if you shoot the spine it doesn't instantly drop. Oh no, we have a problem. Remember how we lost the elephants mm. and all but one rhino? You know what the problem was, don't you? Yeah, Poor chance. Is that thunder I keep hearing? They Is littered the reserve with traps. The Vusha, the eastern land was hit hardest. My crew helped the police push these poachers out of the busha, but they left so many traps behind, no matter how many we've cleared, we keep finding more. A junior guide spotted a few of these traps not far from where you started. Could you kindly clear them out? So this is... yeah, those are the war hogs. Wherever you out. find a water hole, Ngalave Nova, that's our friend, the warthog, won't be far. Warthog heads around here are getting crowded. That puts a lot of strain on the water supply in a reserve where water is not always abundant. So the male warthogs travel, okay. and while the females travel up to um, 40 members in a group. Okay, that's a fun fact that I did not know. Because they did not have that fun fact um, thing as active. Okay. I just shot a high gold gems box that I just hit the sh It wasn't much of a good shot, but... There's something. Um, I gotta clear traps up here. Sadly, they, um, do missions, but it is still free roam. But it's not something I enjoy doing. I gotta clear these dumb traps. That I don't know where are. Uh, it's the clear three of them thing. That's not hard. There's like one right here somewhere. Yep, one. There you go. Saving the savannah. There's like one, one good down at the time. here. No, I was just down here and I didn't see one of these. So where are these spawning in from? Cause I know traps don't just disappear and reappear. Glad they do at least clean out the area before you actually do this. So that you don't scare any warthogs or anything coming to drink. Which is pretty good. really don't want to do this mission or the mission line for these again I may just turn off the missions and then um do them only on my main ch um, account just so that I can do more hunting while on this account rather than missions I mean the XP rewards for these are good So, map, uh, oh, I'm out of the area for them. Okay, so I just got to travel around a good bit in this area. This is dumb, why do they do this? I can it just be like, shoot a gold python or something like that. Pythons aren't really in the game.
Yes, I'm on it, I'm Another good deal. Where are these? Probably going to be somewhere in this and hard to find for the last one. And then I think this one's the next one. Yeah, right here. Okay. With so many good deeds, the animals are going to like you. I can tell. Oh yeah, the animals are gonna like me when I have a thirty thirty to their face. The there are other regions to explore, but if you want to stay here, make yourself useful. Check your mission log for assignments. That's her kudu myth. It'll be a good one to The hide. problems facing this reserve go beyond poachers and aging wardens. There are bad spirits, Iloko, bringing mischief and misfortune. They only come because our ancestors are so angry with the state of this place. We need to make an effort to appease them. If you'd rather continue exploring Moronga, head to my wish tree. Marked on your map. There's something gonna important do that. you must do before we go much further. I want to hunt, not do these dumb missions. So I'm not going to. Or at least not right now. I would, I will do them on my main account, just not on my, or well, not on this account. I'm gonna turn the system um on club beta. I uh, know game oh ADR. This free sixteen on. That is off, that is off, I don't want to do those. Um, then... I do, oh... <laughs> hmm. Huh. Graphics, motion blur, motion blur on. Uh, dialogue, off. Then turn these on. As you see, you can't see that rock from here unless you scope in. That's what I mean by this map gets hard to hunt. You gotta scope in to see most stuff. Because of how the, um, savanna is. And how cloudy it is. I heard the um, lion pant, panting stuff. It sounds like they're breathing heavily. I don't think they drink or eat around until around 12:30, though. I think we're fine for now. Ooh, okay. Couple of animals running away. Don't know what they are. They look like warthogs, either that or... Yeah, I think those are warthogs. I'm gonna run after them. If I can't smack one. Warthogs are fun to hunt. Especially with her handgun. Female and a three male. That three male may make high gold. Maybe low diamond if I'm lucky. Kim's buck female mating call. We go after that. That could be really good. Cause females can make get higher than bronze with Kim's buck.
That's another four. Okay, and it's male. <laughs> I'm gonna pin it just so that I know exactly where it is. About a hundred fifty out. I need a good view of the shoulder and a little above. Come here, little Kim's buck. I think she hears me so... I mean, he hears me so he's nervous. What do I have that can learn Kim's buck? Uh, letters... Buck, Kim's buck, Kim's buck, Kim's buck, Kim's buck, Kim's buck, Kim's buck. Nothing. Okay. Good. I have no Gims Buck collar. When there's a Gims Buck right there. That's only two, okay. I'm gonna wait for him to come out to view. Because it seems like they're gonna be in there for a while. So they are about oh, 10 meters away, further from their um, than they should be. Wish I had a mating call, amigos. I'm gonna try and move in the view of. I'm gonna try and circle them without them. Being nervous, nervous. Come on. Poke your heads out. What's that one there? That's another female. So two females and a male. We get a better shot on the male if he can show himself. There he is, okay. This is about 150 meters. So... Uh, I'm gonna get closer, just ever so slightly. No! They're gone. Screw that. I'm going to put on one of these. If I actually hit him by luck, I'm going to be so mad. Because there is no way I got a good shot on him. Absolutely no way I got a good shot on him. Hey, keep doing that by accident. I need to put something that's... Not a gun in my inventory. So I don't freaking kill anything I don't want to. Yep, nope. I didn't think I did hit him. Ever thought I did hit him. I will head up here just so that I can get a good view if he does come back. Okay, good, 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 good. The nervous system does still clear crazy fast. So I'm going to go over this way, see if I can get a better view on the mail. No, it shouldn't be that far behind. Fine, should he? That's a female. That's another 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 female. Uh, if I do scare these away, then I know I'll be safe. Because there will be those down there. But I could easily pop one up before they scare them off. Oh, this must have smelt me. 
What? <laughs> Who's having a seizure? I'm not that mad. That's the funniest crap yet. I can just sit here and wait for them to... Okay, yeah, he's there. Nervous eating. Put, place a waypoint there. He's about 150 out. Should be able to hit that in too well. I'll hardly miss that. Yeah, that's him. Morning call. That's the three. That's the two. That's the two. Grab this. Zoom all the way in. Aim there. Ah, come on! Every time. They're just gonna want to right back. And I can get in a better position. Yeah, just sitting right there. Now, there's a bunch of fours. Golly. This is four central. What distance is he at? 130, okay. 135. So I should be able to come over this way like this. Zoom fully in and aim a little up and... I think this is zero for 150 at base. So I think I should be able to aim a little bit low and hit. I gotta wait for that heart symbol to come down though. Come on, give me a good angle. I'm gonna try and get a little bit closer and try and not spook him. Because it does look like he's nervous. <gasps> this is a 22. Come on. That's a neck and a half. Wow, this one only gave off a warning call and then ran. The other one's not going to be coming back for a long time. Ugh. Let's see if I can't see the women. One, four, one. That's a three. That's a two. That's a three. That's a four. That's one of the males. Okay. <laughs> and he is 170, so I'm gonna have to aim a little high. <sighs> Shot at Gims Buck with a 22. That is embarrassing and a half. And I have to watch to see which one he is. That's the four female. Um, hmm. I think the one behind her is a male. She's a female. That one is female, I'm pretty sure. No, one's a three, that one's a two. 
that one's the four male. I'm gonna go for the male first. Just so that I know I got the higher scoring one. They keep moving around so it's hard to keep track of them. Okay. But this isn't my fault that I can't hit one. This is the games. Hey, no bl no purple, which means I didn't kill it. Which means it's still alive, which means it, that's him. Okay, I need him to come back. Which I don't think he will. This is the male. His horns look smaller than hers, so I'll go for hers first. It looks like maybe max size. I don't know the weight, though. I think my best bet will go over the hill. Or up more, and then hope she moves to a favorable position. Just watch her. Just watch her. She's moving and stops. Quickly switch back, and then... Come on. I think I'd be better off waiting for this four to get back. I think he died. I don't think it'll show on the map though, but I think he died. This is a male, and he's a female. Uh, two of the smaller females. That's... Ah, I missed. I got the 38 female again. That, that, one, and a four. She's a kind of four as a three, yeah. Four chick is hiding. She's the one with the bigger horns. We had to go for that male though. Which now I can't see. That's a one. That's a two. That's a three. That's the four male. I'm gonna go for the four male. I'm gonna have to get a better view on him though. Okay. Pin him at 168. No, he's closer than that. Uh, he is about there. 160, okay. So I don't need to change much to hit. And that's a good shot. Now watch for him to drop. And I think he dropped. to go over there to check, but I think that was a really good shot. It's, re it's a really hard, um, it's really hard to tell with this, uh, map, um, and whenever you first start out, cause you don't have, um, you can't, um, spot them with your scope, nor, um, the other little ticks to help you, um, see how far out he is, nor zeroing to zero out to his range. But I think that was a pretty good shot. Um, hmm. Look for blue, look for blue, look for blue, look for blue. Ah, oh, come on! I can't hit one worth crap. If he ends up diamond and I messed him up, oh, I'm gonna be so mad. Well, I had to look for that female. That poor female to come out. Early game, it's they come out pretty easily. They come back pretty easily.
They'll probably be coming out from there if lions didn't ambush them. Which I'm pretty sure lions don't and predators don't attack um other prey yet. Which they do need to implement because that would be a fun thing to have to work around. Would make stuff more challenging for newer players if they choose something like um the Medved Taiga or I can make a better shot. Come on, show yourself. Show your shoulder to me, amigos. You can only put two bullets in an animal before they start saying, oh hey, yeah. I'm gonna be the one that got away. Actually, I can find out which one of these women's are the four, which ones are the three. That's the one, that's the four, okay. <coughs> they are alert, or at least nervous. That's a good shot though. She is not walking that off. And I think she's down. But that was the best shot I've made so far. I'm 90% sure I hit lungs there. Okay. No, that's not how this game I aim at the shoulder. It's supposed to hit the lungs. It's not how hunting works. You shoot them, they go down. They don't walk right back to you. It's like the first time that's ever happened. I'm so gonna claim these and I'm so gonna get my XP. I'm so gonna buy that new scope. Either that or go through the perks um, and get zeroing. There's no way those animals just walk away from me. No, that's what I'm doing. It's just hitting the shoulder blade because I'm not used to shooting Gimsbach. It's like normally whenever um, I play this game, they do, um, I'm used to hitting like moose and stuff where I know where they're at and I hardly play sa the savannah so th it gets way harder for me to figure out, oh hey, this is where you gotta aim. The model is similar, but the um, shoulder size isn't, and the lung size I think is slightly smaller than the shoulder. So you gotta hit them at an angle, which I'm not used to doing. I'm used to polymer tips so that you can just bust straight through the um, or you can just bust straight through the shoulder and hit lung. Okay, crouch. Get this out. I heard that lion, and I'm not gonna die that lion. Here, lion, 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 lion. Where art thou? I want to make enough noise to where he wants to charge thinking I'm smaller than him.
it's more against Bach. There's a two, there's a three. None of those are worth shooting. Antlers are too small for, her horns are too small for the two to make silver and the three to even make gold, barely. They're, they're way too small. And their weight looks small as well, but it's kind of hard to tell. I'm just looking for this lion. There's a four. Okay. Two fours. That's 300 out. Wait, 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 wait. A five striped jackal? Where? I pinned that. It said it was a five striped jackal. That's one ran right out in front of me and I didn't notice. I think I spooked that lion. I think they changed it just so the lions are a little more generous. than they were. Because they even heard you last time, they'd immediately run after you. Uh, 50 cal, um, there are, um, muzzleloaders and the legal muzzleloader caliber for deer and stuff is 50 caliber so I'm pretty sure the muzzleloaders are but I don't think I have the DLC purchase for that so I can't really use that sadly but it is a good gun if you're for single shot use He's 170 out. Let me try and risk taking that. There are so many animals around me. I don't know where what is. Hmm. I think that one there is spooked off that way. So I think he's my target. He's 170 out. And that looks like an easy shot. So I'm going to take it, oh, equip scope, zoom in, ah, come on, got to wait, Okay, that is a perfect view on their shoulder. He moved! No! Never gonna get to shoot him if he keeps moving like that. That's why I hate the savannah. None of the animals stay still while they're eating. We can get a challenge to shoot or even hunt.
Which, I mean, it's a great map. They need to change that. Uh, the head, um, if it's an animal where the, um, antlers are the trophy, you hit headshot, it's gonna ruin the trophy organ, or the skull. And you won't be able to do well. And you won't get full score. Like, you're not gonna hang up a skull and, um, antlers of a deer that has a bullet hole through the skull. Ah, uh, he's not it. He's not giving me a broadside shot. And he ran. I think there's a lion nearby. Because he's spooked for no reason. I have no visibility. My, um, thing's not going his way. Or the wind isn't going his way. So he shouldn't have spooked. I think there's a visibility. I think there's a lion nearby. Because that's not a normal thing to happen. Oh, this is where that strap jackal was. No, that's a kudu. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, hmm. That sucks. Those are both fours. I didn't get either of them. But yeah, brain shots, they absolutely ruin the um, trophy. And only reason to get them is because of that dumb achievement. Um, this isn't a zombie game or whatever. For um, shooting like 10 animals in the brain and getting brain shot. Um, and instantly dropping them. But it's called, but the achievement is called, this is not a zombie game. And I already have it um, on my account. So there's no use in um getting it again. Please be a female. Please come out to where I can see him be a female. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, oh. uh organs you can hit long and hard. Um, for vital organ achievement, um, to keep, um, your integrity up, um, you can only hit lung and heart, but if you mix anything else with, um, a lung or heart, you're fine. So you can hit the stomach, liver, and every organ as long as you at least hit a lung. But you shoot brain, um, if you shoot brain, you can't get your full credibility but yeah lung and heart and then anything else as long as you have a combination of lung and you can only make two shots on an animal to keep integrity so you mess up once and it walks back you can only hit it once more you can't double it up I want to so far into there randomly and hope I hit. It wouldn't be the worst idea, but it would also be a terrible idea. Because it could be a four. But yeah, next time I claim an animal, I'll show you the full integrity system the game has got implemented. I think I spooked those. Doesn't bother me, but one of those could have been a four. Well, at least I know they're he up here, so I'm gonna head up here, sit at their zone, and um, wait to see if they come back or not. Because if, because most animals after they're spooked, they do come back. Um, and hurry and shoot an animal. I'm trying. This is one of the more awkward maps that are harder to hunt on.
This game isn't just hurry and shoot an animal like most people want it to be. This game actually takes time and focus. Because on this game, if you don't take your time, you can spend four hours on this game and not get one animal. Um, this zone ends at 14 something, so I should be able to just sit in here. Send Eliminator. Spray this on me so that he'll come in. Um, now let's get my binoculars out. And if you shoot a tree or something, the bullet won't go through. So I can't just predict a shot through that thing or one of those small bushes. Because certain bushes allow bullets to pass through, some don't. Hmm. I'm gonna come up here and around. And hopefully I can get a good shot on this animal. Um, I wanna try and get down one of them so that I don't scare him because I actually wanna get a good shot on a Gimsbach. Because <laughs> they get pretty good money. And I'm at 3,000. I need like 6 like 30,000 I think for 7 millimeter should be safe in here unless he comes through here which I don't think he will As soon as I get through here, I better get ready to shoot. Because he'll be like right there. Somebody already brought the alien? Pinky took off. But I'm on the other side of the hill now, so I should be able to walk through and be fine. Yep, he was right there, like I said. Doesn't look like any of them is a flea, but he's a, um, <coughs> he's a little bit of a <coughs> she. Oh, it's a she. That one was a three. So it doesn't matter if I shoot either one. I'm going to wait until this one's a little more visible, because I don't want the audio to spook it. Okay. Now, get this. Wait for a good broadside shot, and... I hate the whole, you gotta wait for your heart rate to come down thing. Heart rate, calm down, this is a perfect shot. Come on, that raises so quickly. Calm down, calm down. I can pretty much zoom out a little bit to slow the movement down. And I think I could time this correctly. Why is he running back? Get a quick eat before his zone closes. There's another two. 
What's that one out there? A three? Yeah, that's a three. I'm not gonna take him. That two is a little more scared, so I'll go for this one. Plus, the one looks slightly bad, bigger. Which means it more score. Uh, that one's running, uh, so I'll hurry up and take the shot on this one. Uh, come on! That was way too high. Oh my gosh. This game is so annoying with that. I'll literally just have to wait more. I know that didn't even contact because I didn't see any dust brush off as if I hit. So it looks like I'm waiting for a little longer. Ooh, okay. That's a lion. Female though. Female in your body. That's a lion behind me. Act like I'm stupid so he'll charge me. Yeah, I'm putting my back to a lion. I am definitely not suspecting him. He's really not going to charge though. I don't think he has, at least. Yeah, because I'm not hearing the panting or a growl. So he shouldn't run off. Shouldn't be long, but they, she should come back pretty soon. These are kudu, okay. So kudu are up through here as well. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't joke a lot on stream. I more or less actually play the game seriously. Um, unless it's Fortnite, then sometimes I meme. Um, that's a three. I don't want to spot tracks. I'm going to spot Kudu. Not Kudu. Gimsbach. I'm not that dumb that I can't figure out what a Gimsbach is called. Oh my goodness. So that's a two. Uh, I mean, on this game, most of the um, fun that you're gonna actually have is just hunting normally and taking it seriously. Because just like hunting, it's uh, more fun if you just actually hunt rather than just miss every animal. Because you're not g gonna um, get anything if you constantly miss. Once I get a better graphics code on my PC, what I'm going to do is actually do um, clips uh, of me finding animals and then shooting them. Um, kind of like what Flinter, the Hunter DD33 does, stuff like that. Uh, what is that range? That is 123 out. So I should be able to zoom all the way in and then hit this one here pretty easily ah oh, come on you gotta sniff your shoulder ah uh, I just hate this dumb heart rate thing it ruins it so bad okay yeah it ruins it a lot I try and hold it pixel by pixel combating it until heart rate slows
And there we go. Finally, a good shot. Fingbuck mating call right after a shot. Wow. Gun sexual. <laughs> not funny. Or not as funny as I thought it would be. Because they ate here, that created a new zone. Bullet holes. Is there a bullet hole in you, woman? Uh, I don't know. Let me find where I shot her at. Uh, I think this was her coming up. Then there should be blood somewhere in here. Uh, hmm. Here, blood trail, blood trail, blood trail. Where are you? That's kudu. Aha! Poop! That's from a kudu. A minute I thought that was a blood splatter. Okay, so it is down. I gotta mark where I found it. Place waypoint. So it's over here where I saw it. Okay. So it is dead. First actual good shot on this map. Little Oregon hit just now. Wow. Like I knew that. Who would have guessed? So it ran this way. Ooh, this will be hard to get a picture of. Please have at least made it through the grass. Through the grass? Did he make it? Make it through the grass or are you stuck in the grass? Think it's somewhere in the grass. Come on. That's so dumb. Why would somebody die in the grass? Oh no, I'm not gonna die to a lion. Come on, charge me. Come on. Come on. Is that it? I'm gonna still fire off in that direction there. If I hit it, I hit it. It'll at least scare it off though. Gonna really charge after me after I shot at you? Aha! Lung shot! Finally! Okay, so there's all that lung there. Tiny shoulder. I shoot the lung, which is most of that. I don't get it on the rest of them. How? I don't know. I shot straight through the shoulder. It's not an I told you. That's a I'm dumb. I got that by shooting straight through the shoulder somehow. Um, I'm at 3,000, 9,000 more to get that bigger scope. That's easier to use. Uh. So that's the three male. He'll be gone for a while. Um, down here I think is lion territory. Or there is a lion drink zone down here. Somewhere. Where? I don't know. So I gotta be careful for once. There's still the male. Here, Huffin' Puffin' Lion, come and eat me. Okay, I didn't mean really. Okay, run, run. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm running, I didn't mean really. See, I'm friendly, other than I have a big rifle, and if you come and charge me, I'll shoot ya. Other than that, I'm pretty friendly. Where you at? I'm not gonna shoot you, only if you charge at me. 
And still I'll shoot you. What is that? It's like a... It's like a stick bug. But far away. And big. Of oh, Strap Jackal. How far away? Oh, 350. How much you want to bet I can hit that? Did it run? They didn't fire. Oh no, right there it is. Okay. So if that is good for... Ah, that'll be a hard shot to do. I know, I'm not. I'm just gonna fire just because there's a lion somewhere nearby. I'm just using this as an excuse to fire to try and get away the lion. Wait, did I hit it? Not seen it up. Fire one more shot just in case. <coughs> if I hit that, I am god at this game. Like, there's no animal I won't be able to hit. Whoa! How did uh, you get there? Oh, that's lion. Ooh. Big animal. Okay. And soon to be dead animal. Ooh, it's a good shot. I mean, the reload isn't dumb. It's actually um, how you actually load a rifle. You pull the bolt back, you pull the clip out, put a new clip in, push the bolt forward and lock it into place. It's not dumb, that's how it actually works. I'm gonna go over here, grab this fox and see if I hit it and if I didn't, I'm gonna go check and see if I hit the line. Which I did! Ha ha ha! And I think that was a long shot, too. That's why I like really large puns. You shoot, they come right back. Because it's their drink time, and they are dumb. Uh, yeah, it kind of is, but if you mean riding like this, um, or if you mean running like this, the movement itself is, um, swaying kind of like how it would sway, um, but they kind of over-exaggerate it, um, because I guess they tweaked with one of the settings by accident. They said they were going to fix it soon. If I hit this jackal, I'm amazing at the game. Jackal trot. So it went down this way. Through here. For a minute I thought that was it. Through here, up here. Up here. So I did not hit it, sadly. Which would have been fun if I did. But I didn't. It just ran off. So I disappeared. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, time to head down here. That's not a line there, is it? No. One of those buildable stands. It's that jackal again. Oh, 
Oh, so I'm gonna come down here, grab that um, lion. Get me that extra money, that extra easy money. There's another one down here, really. How many lion zones are there here? There's already what? Three. somewhere around here. Okay, there's another female up this way. I got this one, and this will be a good picture. <laughs> and... Ta-da. And now... Yeah, I barely scraped the bottom of the lung. That was such luck there. So, turns out I use a too high animal or too low bullet. It's fine, I still get the money to get for it um, and the score, but you do and the XP and stuff, but you do not get the actual rating. So, I'm fine with that. Now, I'm gonna head up towards here. Because here I think is a good spot for other animals. It is a far distance though. How's your day been, Nick? Fortnite done with update yet? No, I got another 59 minutes. Once um this hits the three hour mark, um or 40 min um three um three hour 10 minute mark, I'm gonna hop off here, hop on Fortnite, um because I was planning on playing that, um so I'll do a five hour stream in total. So this. Either that or three hours on this, three hours on that. It's been most of my day streaming because I'd like to um, make up for most of my um, stream, um, most of the streams I've missed um, by doing one long six hours um, of streaming. So once this hits the three hour mark, I'll probably hop on Fortnite, play with some friends. Um, Get a couple of solo dubs, maybe. Um, War Og, okay. Seems good. Seems like an easy thing to get. I'll probably get a warning call before I even come out of this bush, so I'm a crouch walk. Or slow crouch walk, just cause these bushes make a lot of noise. I 
think it already fled. It's fine. Warhogs are really good creatures to hunt, but those are really difficult to keep in the area. This is probably, no, this isn't his track. Not his track either. <coughs> Not his tracks again. Um, oh, he's up there at that. Okay. They said nowhere to go. This is probably his, yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna chase after him, try and get an easy warthog. Those give a little bit of money. Um, I'm at 4,000 now. Um, hmm. How close am I to leveling up? Uh, Codex. Hunter profile card. I am about 500 XP less, so I think one more hog will get it to where I need to be. Hey, it'll probably be back soon because their time zone isn't up. So I just gotta wait for a little bit. Yeah, he's already uh, starting to fix, starting to come back. He's sitting there waiting now. Walking away, okay, okay. What time is left on this zone? 1400, 35 minutes, 25 minutes. So yeah, he'll be on his way back soon. So yeah, he's already on his way back. Once he gets a little closer, I will prone and get him as he comes over, probably. Either that or he's gonna run down there and then come up and I'll get him as he's facing me. Um, I'm going to have to switch to my 243 though. That's the recommended gun for these because their bones aren't as strong. Oh! Huh. There's a bunch of them. Okay. I didn't see that coming. Hmm. There's um, a rest zone they're heading to. I think. Hmm. I didn't notice that. I have to go after them. didn't move or anything, what the heck? I was just standing there and he ran. I went out there and looked at the moon and it was all there and Fine. He can do that. If I'm heading up here, there's a whole bunch of um buffalo there. Yeah boy. Uh, it'll be easier to head up here to this, um Um whatchamacallit? Oh, Outpost because this outpost is closer and if I get a four-wheeler there It'll take less time to go up to the um, Wake there get my 30 out six ready and blow a crap ton of um, Buffalo to this guy. I won't get um, the in um, blood integrity for it because I don't have anything for um, Buffalo 
caliber wise I may be able to purchase um, a crossbow bolt big enough for them but I don't think there there's enough for it I think this is one of the um, boar feed and rest zones this is where they pass through by now it's still here I don't know because I ran straight through it but if you want to see a whole lot of chicken or buffalo wings I was about to say chicken wings then get ready but more or less they're buffalo wings because they buffalo down there and those things can get massive so I'm it, and if I get a diamond, if I see a diamond one, I want to be able to actually take it and keep integrity. So what I'm going to do is snatch this here. Ooh, magically a whole bunch of stuff just pops in. No tractors or anything required to move it. Is this made from Ikea? Okay, that's not as funny but it is um I'll grab this um and then I'll um range finder both I'll take out this these because I need to be able to carry the stuff for it come up here take the rifles out You get one bow, and um, you get this rangefinder bow set for free. It's going to be the easiest way you can get everything. Okay, I have everything I need. Store. Arrows. We want normal arrows, and we want 700 grain. Because these 420 grains, um, these 540 grains aren't big enough. These 600 grains are big enough, but aren't good enough. But you get the normal arrows in 900, and I'm going to get a good bit of them. <laughs> Just because we're going to need them for this. They'll take them that buffalo down a lot quicker. Now we go to garage. Charcoal color, I don't care which one. Find that thing. Pin up here. Place waypoint. <coughs> now you shoot one, most likely all of them will charge. Now, I gotta hit supersonic speed. Well, 88 mile, um, miles an hour to go back in time, but that's not super speed, like you should have to. But I gotta go fast. Whee! That's a whole lot of grass. And a lot more grass. I wish I had one of those things to where you can edit on the fly. So that I could just speed it up for you guys as I just sit here holding the button. The draw button. Ooh, that's a nice lion. Should I hop off and snipe it? Uh, I don't have anything big enough for it, sadly. But if I had ammo big enough for it, I'd whack that thing. So head up here. The buffalo, you need to worry more about than the lions. The buffalo, once one charges, you got to hit it right in the lungs or heart or brain. Or you will not survive. Because they just keep charging and keep charging. Just wallop central. I'm gonna hop off 450 meters out so that it won't hear me, so it doesn't hear the four wheeler. But with the bow, the most you can um, aim for is 150. If you can get a bow that shoots 150 meters, Either that bow is overpowered and should not be legal for hunting, or you have really good aim. 
because a bow that can shoot 150 meters should not be legal. That's like a 400 pound draw bow. When in the um, mission line where it has you shoot a deer with a 65 pound draw bow, that bow works. It's a 65 pound draw bow. 150 meters, something's not right. Either that arrow goes supersonic upon release or I just don't know what I'm talking about. Bow is the easiest way to get XP until you can afford the... I hate navigating on this, Savannah. You always hit a tree. But I never blow up. Because I know how to steer. Right, whenever I'm on flat ground. Oh my gosh, I hit when it automatically starts power steering. Like you're trying to drift. I'm like, no, I'm not trying to drift, I'm just wanting to go straight. A whole bunch of truck grass and a tree that I didn't want to hit. Mmm, why so many small trees that are impossible to see? And impossible to drive through. This is a small bush. You should be able to drive over that with a tractor. Just so that I don't break the four wheeler. Now we need to equip the bow. Uh, bow. And move. Up here, ammo. 700 green arrows. That's traditional. Mm. Yeah, I hate having to go back. I think the nearest outpost would be. Here, I don't want to go there. Uh, I'm not gonna recurve hunt, and I can't get on that. So I really gotta go all the way over back. Oh my goodness, fast travel. I'm only grabbing a recurve, and I'll have to use the thing to find out where to aim. Uh, Either that or... Okay. I'll catch you later. But the wrong freaking thing. Store. Bow. Arrows. See ya. Traditional trees vault arrow. I don't have enough money for them. I'm literally gonna have to use recurve. Ah, uh, using this one. <coughs> Come up here. Remove this bow. And I guess I have to remove the sight as well, because rangefinder doesn't work on that. Weapons, this. Uh, did I not put the ammo in? Oh my gosh, I am messing up so much today. Seven hundred green traditional arrows. Inventory here, here, here. Here, garage. 
this. Drive back another seven kilometers or two. Sorry. Hey uncle, I'm playing Hunter Cold Wild on my account, except because I'm on Uncle Chase's PlayStation. It reset my stuff, and I got a recur bow, and the 700 grain traditional arrows. I'm adding to that really good buffalo spot, and I'm going to get a lot of cash. Because on my original account, I deleted the zone. So I'm going to go in here, get a crap ton of money, get back up to where I was, and I'm going to play it smart. When I first started my account, I didn't realize that if you shot enough animals in a zone, it deleted. When I first did it on my Why account. Don't you, buy a tree for <laughs> you think I got the money for that? Plus, I already deleted this zone on my account and a whole bunch of the good ones. So what I'm gonna do is restart on this account, and I'm gonna get up to where I was, and I'm gonna start doing everything I did. Except delete the um, zones. And I've been streaming for 2 hours 40 minutes. And I'm still better than you at Fortnite even after taking a good break. But Jeremy, do you know what area I'm talking about where there's a crap ton of buffalo? This here. Way up north on that little tiny thing there. You go there, there's a crap ton of buffalo just spread out there. <laughs> and they range from level 4 to 9. Which means there's high chances you get your first diamond as a buffalo. If you have DLC. more grass and over there be something other grass come on line run run right out in front of me I want to claim some road kill
this, hit down. So the right side of the screen would be there. So So it seems like It's over that way and pops over that way and up, so let me sit down. Then I can put it in that way, so I'm okay.
Ooh, that penetration. Papa, I hit this thing with a bow. The arrow went straight through. From the skull to the rear end. That bow should not be legal. Hmm. Okay then. Free $980. But Papa, I hit it in the lag, like right here. I hit it in the lag right here. It started charging at me. I hit it straight through the skull and right out the butt. <laughs> With a bow. With a bow? Yeah. I know. Buffalo, mamma mia, spaghetti, Ferrari, Lamborghini. I don't know whether that's racist or not. Lamborghini, Ferrari, spaghetti, Buffaloini. Buffalo <laughs> ah, that's dumb. Lamborghini Lamborghini Pucciolini How do you say that? Pucciolini Pucciolini uh, I can't remember why that stuff is good Parmesan cheese is a
<sighs> I shot one buffalo, went straight to the skull out his rear end. With a bow. How? I don't know. But this thing's powerful. I'll try and do it again. If I can get one to charge me. But up through here, there's normally a lot of buffalo. So I'm gonna um, run around until it's buffalo time. Wait for one to come after me and I'm gonna blow his, the tartar sauce out of his head. Is that a couple down there? No, those are rocks. Normally there's a lot of buffalo down here. I may have to go all the way back. Grab a... Um, grab and set the time back to like 9, 10 maybe. Maybe 11. Nope, I don't need to. Come on, off the map. This one's angry. Okay. <sighs> yep, I'm dead. That one was big too. I couldn't see what he scored. But he was big. And I'm gonna grab him. And I am gonna kill him. He could be a um, diamond. But I couldn't hit him because I was panicking. We go down there after setting the time back a bit. Maybe to 11, 10, 30. No, 11, 15. 11, 30, 25. Let's see 11. 25 head down there since it'll be their time go get the plausible diamond and I may grab him uh, mark this mark the general area of it he'll probably stay where he is because I'm not within render distance of him I'm a long way off. But I got the recurve. Seven. Nine hundred grain arrow is what it is. Ah, oh, come on. I hate that whole drift thing. Hold forward and drive. <laughs> Which one's a horn? No, it's not that, not that. There's no horn. That's dumb. They wouldn't move the horn. I was hitting the horn so much. They go back down, whack a couple buffalo. Get a couple bit more dollar roonies. Re pick back up on my good kill spree. But I can't believe this bow just pulls straight through a, a buffalo's um, head and right out its rear end. Mm -hmm. It's easy to make a nice pink. Nice pink. Flashy lights, flashy lights, flashy lights, flashy lights, flashing lights, flashing lights, I like flashing the flashing lights, flashing lights, flashing lights, who doesn't like to flash some lights, flashing lights, flashing lights, I like flashing these lights. Uh, I'm gonna probably stop at 400, maybe 350, because I figured that at 400 they don't spook. I come down there quietly. I'm gonna chase after this animal and scare the crap out of it. Since there's no point in it living. It'd probably kill me if I hit it. Wow, that is some large dump. They're what took them. Out of the way. Oh, I haven't took this route. Still flashing my light.
I don't know whether to consider driving through a forest all, um, on a four-wheeler hitting every animal as poaching or not, but if it is, sue me. Because I ain't gonna stop. Whoa, okay, I may stop. There's a hill here, and I just sped straight down it. I'm speeding straight down the hill. And my four-wheeler is at half health about to blow up. Maybe it will. Who knows, maybe it deserves it. To, to let y'all know I'm a safety hazard. Out of the way! Chicken! People are coming through for chicken wings on them. I'm about to go after some buffalo and get me some nice buffalo wings from them. It's actually technically six out. Six hundred out, but well the one that probably probably diamond is. There's about five out, four out, and hop off. Now time to get me a nice size buffalo. I want some buffalo wings, come here. A low wings! A low wings! And some buffalo wings! Make it fly so you get them! You just gotta come here! <laughs> buffalo wings! Free wings for buffaloes! Right here for you! Just gotta come here! I can make you fly! No lie! I do not lie! I definitely am not going to eat you! Yes, yes, I am not. You can trust me. That's the seven. So he was seven. Okay, any other buffalo near? Uh, no, so... Riding and spooking him is not a bad idea. So, if I'm lucky, he'll be gold. Or if I'm unlucky and hit straight through the skull, <coughs> and the other one, he'll be a little less than gold. <coughs> I don't care if he's spooked. Spooks, he'll just go aggressive. Knowing I have a bow, it'll he'll probably think it's better for him to go aggressive. And charge me. What the heck is that? Is that a standing still buffalo? No, oh, that's a tree that didn't come into view. Well, he's probably gonna go you aggressive. No, I, I want to go. Oh, oh, and yeah. Come on, I got buffalo wings! Come on, buffalo wings! Let stay, buffalo wings! I selling buffalo wings, Camille. I'm giving them out for you. I'm not Hunter. I Hunter. Definitely not Hunter. This bow? No, it's not a bow. It's a wing giver. Come here if you want to soar. Not be soar, just soar. Be in the air. Bow's got enough. I mean, this wing giver has got enough power to put you up there. It could. I can give you one that could put two of y'all in there, sharing one set of wings. You just gotta come here. Try and kill me, you don't get wings. If you don't, you get free wings. Yeah, free wings good. Yeah. You get to fly. Be one with nature. You wanna be one with nature? 
If I can make you there. Can pull you with nature. So I took those traps down, so you should be coming after me. They said that animals will like me. I'm giving out buffalo wings. Back to the water, partially in the water. So that if buffalo come out, I can womp, 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 womp. Come here if you want wings. I definitely got wings and I'm not gonna make you fly using a bow. Oh, what bow? Uh, no bow. I don't have a bow, I just have some binoculars. So that I can see where y'all are coming from. So I know where to shoot some wings at you from. Yes, yes, I mean wings, not arrows. Let's come out. Here, buffalo, 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 buffalo. Here, buffalo. Here, buffalo. Hey, big ol' um, cows, or I mean, um, buffalo, y'all aren't cows, y'all are buffalo. Sorry, but I can give y'all buffalo Facebook for free. Buffalo Wi-Fi, free, 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 free. Just come here and I'll put this um, Wi-Fi stick into you and you can access Wi-Fi anywhere. Yes, I'm being serious, anywhere. I no lie, these are Wi-Fi sticks. See the metal on the end? That sticks into whatever and transmits Wi-Fi signals into it. Just come here then, I'll put Wi-Fi into you. You feel better. It medicine stick. It's a medicine stick, you'll feel better. Here buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. Here buffalo, here. Here buffalo, here. Oh, buffalo. I know buffalo. I heard that call. Why am I getting a warning call from him? I just try and give you free buffalo stuff. I'm here to give you all wings. I'm Red Bull, I give wings. I really don't take them. Don't lie, I'm just here to get free wings. Not to harm. Okay. So 
17 minutes till their time ends. I don't know why they're running. Eight leaving. Where did you go? I'm not here to hurt you. They give you wings. Yes? You want wings? Wanna fly? Hit every human without having to touch ground? I could become the world's first nature's wrecking ball. Yeah? It sounds like a Mexican trying to sell a really bad product that doesn't work. And he knows it too. Oh, well, I'm waiting for them head in the water. Mm, they stop running about here, so. So, perk point. Perks. Rifles. Buy that. I need 14, 1.4 thousand XP. I need to get diamonds. That's the red, no. 
the buffalo I find big buffalo there's another buffalo both female I thought male one Oh, I killed the gold. Okay. Uh, how many diamonds? No, but two golds. Huh. So I killed the eight by accident. Okay. And I got a really darn good shot off of it. Got another 26 minutes before Fort is done downloading. Didn't. Okay. Oh well. Probably where they did go. They probably have like 40,000 drink zones. And that's all they do drink, and they just eat as they run. See any buffalo on the way, or any buffalo tracks, and I know I'm right. If I don't, then I know I'm wrong. If I wait, and there, or if I go down there and there are some, then I know I'm right. If I go down there and wait, and there are none, and none do show up, then I know I'm wrong. And, which also means that, oh hey, they probably are 
just circling back and heading back to where they were which would be a smart move and would confuse the heck out of me why they do that like two zones same place different time awkward but I believe it's something they apparently do boom 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 knew I wasn't right not after games box If you run at me, I will pop ya. I don't care what caliber this thing is calibered as. What this is calibered or classified as. See ya, you down. Nope, Gim's back. This blush, uh, splunk, uh, splunk, uh, splunk, uh, splunk. They just evaporate after some time, like, where do the buffalo go? Where are footprints going this way? Probably gonna head up here, he's not gonna be around in here. By this direction. They're gonna head this direction, where he just... What is down this way?
that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. That's a whole lot of chicken. So there's a massive herd of buffalo that just fled. So I'm chasing after them. Just now, yeah, 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 I know, just now. They're literally on the other side of me, over here. I'm just gonna chase and chase and chase until they finally stop at a drinking spot. And I can whack a few with a bow. No, I'm not chasing after kudu. Kudu are not as fun. And don't hurt you if you uh, miss them. Why is a kudu following buffalo? Seven. So he's the one I'm heading after. Okay. So I may stop up on this hill and hope they um. Hope they run right at me, come right back at me, and I just whop, 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 whop. That'll be my plan at least. This is a seven.
Ah. Okay, that's cool. A bunch of superstitious people that will believe anything as long as it keeps um, people away from their birds. And tells and find good from superstitions like that. Huh, interesting. I'm gonna stop running and start waiting. Like right here. They'll end up taking the exact route back. So that's how this game's thing works. And 10 should be enough to get them all. Because I barely see 4. And then say I miss 2 for, for that'll be 8. And then if I miss 1 extra, then I got an extra to put into somebody. This is Kudu. So I'm gonna wait right along this edge here and wait for them to walk right back. Sounds like the easier way to do it, yes. Is it cheap? Yes. Is it boring? Yes. But doesn't guarantee but does it guarantee a bunch of XP? Even more so. Trick is just walk, just crouch walk after them, end up right coming right to you. Yeah, I guess so. Pizza? Yep. And chocolate Yep. Chasing after some buffalo, hoping they charge me. Chasing after some buffalo, hoping they charge me. Chasing after some buffalo, hoping they charge me. Chasing buffalo, hoping they charge me. Holy moly, I've been chasing these for a long distance, golly. I think they're tired out.
Oh no, it's not them. Goes in, I was about to say, are they already tired out? A character can run like 40,000 kilometers without having to stop. So five, one, four, three. Oh, where is the mythical? There's a kudu. Uh, one, three, four. I do a place I have in the form of what happened. Wars almost normally don't disappear from packs because I saw a seven. I can't see a seven. Oh, seven. Okay. This thing's a beauty. Oh! <gasps> Screenshot. Oh! Oh! oh, that is a good shot. That is a lot of X, um, cash too. Nice gold buffalo. I am going to save that. Uh, I only have a couple golds on this account. Blacktail, Kudu, Elk, Ginsbuck, Blacktail, another Blacktail. So I'm going to overwrite this low black bear. I don't know why I kept it. Ooh, that was such a nice one. Now I'm gonna go with them, try and get the rest of them. Cause if I can get the rest of them, then that's a bunch of free XP. And that'll get me closer to getting the stuff I need. Already up with thousand, which is good. They are heading up this way. So, if they took a turn and went up, I'll probably miss them. And not get them. Okay, no they didn't. So they're coming back by now. Okay, that's good to know. They probably already spooked. I'm learning how to use this thing without tape on my screen. It's getting easier. Cause the first one I figured out how to aim was cause I blasted it straight through the skull and not the other end.
So I'm pretty sure I can confidently say I can Whoa. hit long shot all time Whoa. with recurve. Now I need to be able to see if I can't just scratch in a heart shot every now and then. At least skim it. Uh, what if they weren't moving? I would have tried to take them at that distance. But it just doesn't seem good to. I'm gonna cut the stream here, um, eat, wait for the last bit of Fortnite to get done downloading. Then I'm ahead um, on the Fortnite stream a couple hours of that. So I'll catch y'all later.